Greetings everyone and welcome to Daddy Mathematics. I apologize for any noise in the background, it is my family. And today I'm going to be discussing, or rather teaching, about um, how to do synthetic division given a polynomial and another polynomial which is your divisor with a degree of 1. Now synthetic division is a way for people to divide two polynomials and simplify and to find um, certain quotient of two of them. Basically, we're just dividing two polynomials such um, in the same way we'd divide normal numbers, right? But this method is more unconventional. That is only applicable for um, for polynomials with degree one. Uh, now there is a there's a way for or method for mathematicians to actually divide polynomials with a degree 2 or more, but for this method, I will just be focusing on a divisor which has a degree of 1. Alright, so I have my piece of paper over here and my marker where I'll teach you guys how to do um, synthetic division. So to do synthetic division, um, let's say we're given polynomial um, x squared plus 4x plus 3 and we want to divide that function let's say we want to divide that function by another function which is p of x equals um, x plus 1 let's say so how do we divide these two polynomials so to divide these two polynomials let me reposition my camera so that you guys can see everything here Find the, to find the quotient of these two polynomials, um, probably don't see the f of x, but there's an f of x right about here. So to find the quotient of these two, we basically um, do what we do with whole numbers. So we write the entire symbol. I write the divisor over here and the dividend over here, plus 4x plus 3. And what we do is we divide the first term of our divisor to each and every term except the constant, right? So let's start with x squared. So x squared divided by x, x squared over x. Um, if you remember your law of exponents, if you remember our law of exponents, that would simply be um, x. And so that is our product, that's our quotient, and we put it up above here. But that doesn't necessarily mean we're done. But what we do after we find the quotient is that we div we multiply this, we distribute the the quotient with the divisor, and after having that, we subtract that product to these two terms over here, or whichever we have here. So if we multiply the this x times x is x squared, and x times one is x, and um, make sure to watch out for the signs because I actually committed a lot of errors just because of the signs. Now, if we, if we have, we have this, right, we have our product, we're supposed to flip the signs over. So that would be negative X squared. And this would be negative X. I put, I mix, I do an upside down plus minus sign, um, to indicate that I've switched the operation from one operation to another. Um, but if I have a negative, um, term here, like this is negative, I just, Put, I just make it positive, you know, to indicate that it's been switched from negative to positive. And uh, after that, we we just subtract. So this would cancel out to 0, and 4x minus x would be 3x. And next, after that, we're going to divide 3x now. We're going to divide 3x with the first term. So 3x divided by x would simply be 3, because x crosses out. Let me just show you x crosses out and so that would be plus 3 we just put it up there and after that we multiply this with each term we have each term so this would become 3x plus 3 and now like normal division we bring this down and so this would become 3x plus 3 and in our we have 0 as a remainder so in this case our quotient for these two polynomials so f of x over p of x 
would be our new function y, which would be x plus 3. I'll show you some rest version. Given that this polynomial here is um, this polynomial function is denoted by f of x, and this one over here is denoted by p of x, if we divide f of x by p of x, we get the quotient over here, which is x plus 3. All right, now let's do um, a different one. What if we have a quotient that might contain a remainder? Right? Oh, my mistake. All right, so what if we have a quotient? Or what if we have a. What if we have two polynomials that might result in a quotient and a remainder, right? Let me just fix my iPad. Um, my mistake. Okay. It's more flexible now. All right. So what if we're given something like, let's say, x plus 2 um, p of x equals x plus 2 and f of x. Actually, let's use a different term. y is equal to x cubed plus 3x squared plus 4x plus 5. Now, you can't divide, you can't divide 5 by 2 because that would give you a fraction, right? Um, so how, what we do here, right? We, do, we just do the normal thing, right? Um, so we'll divide y by p of x. So we just do the normal thing we do like in the last example plus 3x squared, plus 4x, plus 5. I apologize, my lovelies, uh, for my terrible handwriting, but please forgive your daddy, or else I'll punish you. Okay, so first first thing we do is divide this term by this term, so that will give us x squared, obviously. After that, we multiply these both, this to the, to the, the divisor, divid, yeah, the divisor, so we get x cubed plus 2x squared. Do point me out in the comments if I get something wrong here so that I can probably correct it in another video. Alright, so after that we flip the signs. So this becomes negative, that becomes negative, and then this would cancel out as 0, and 3 minus 2 is just x squared because it's just 1x squared, which is just interpreted as x itself because 1 times the x is just, you know, x and bring down plus 4x and now we divide the first term here and that would give us x x squared divided by x is just x or just one right um and oh actually i didn't mean to put this line over here just disregard that so we multiply it so it becomes x squared plus 2x now we excuse me oh, i thought i was gonna sneeze we flip this to the signs and that gives us um, something to cancel out here. This cancels out, and this becomes negative. This is negative two x. So four x minus minus two x. That will give us two x. Two x plus five. Right. And after that, we just mm, divide two x again. So two x divided by x would just be two plus two. And that will give us two x plus 4 and our divisor or our remainder is 1 because we flip the signs and 5 minus 4 is 1 and how do we write the final answer for this type of polynomial right so basically our final answer y over p of x would be equal to basically we're gonna write the entire answer here this quotient x squared plus x plus 2. And the most common way that my uh, school has ever taught me or Cerebri uh, an AI learned to, what they taught me or how they taught me to write a final answer of a uh, quotient of two polynomials that has a remainder is that basically we, we use a plus. It depends on the sign. If this is negative, it's going to be minus. But since it's positive, it's plus. Plus, and then we make a fraction with the, the remainder over here being the numerator and the quotient over oh wait, no not the quotient but rather the divisor is the denominator so this would be one over x plus two so the final answer here would be y function y divided by p of x would be equal to x squared plus x plus two plus one over x squared wherein one over here is the remainder and x plus two is the quotient that we got 
the answer over here. And so that is how you divide polynomials. Now, thank you, my lovelies, for actually bearing with me on this break. I hope you guys had a wonderful New Year's resolution and uh, Merry Christmas during that time. And welcome to 2021, people, and welcome back to Fanboy Mathematics. But this is a special episode, and I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.